All right, our task is laid before us. So again, we're pretending that we have been contracted. There's this group this, that wants to put together this water charity, and they don't have a website yet. And they need a way to be able to tell their story, to have users you know, driven to this website, to have them connect with it, and to, to, to buy in and want to help. And then it has to have a way f- for, for users to be able to uh, actually donate and to fundraise and, and to be able to make this project happen. And so uh, we're pretending that the client has act, asked us to create this website. So how are we going to do it? Well, we're going to use a .NET backend and a React frontend, which is a powerful combination. It gives us a good, stable, robust backend with a cutting edge technology, fast, reactive front end that should work really well for this project. So let's get to it. Where do we start? Well, we want to create a folder to hold all our projects. So I'll just create one on the desktop again. It's easy here to create this. You might want to create it somewhere else. And what are we going to call it? Well, this isn't the water project. There's there's already a the water project, the one and only. Uh, we're going to create a water project. So I'll just name this folder water project. All right, so what I'm gonna do is a little bit different than what we've done before. I'm gonna open this folder, but rather than going into uh, Visual Studio or Rider or VS Code to create these projects, I'm just gonna do it at the terminal. I wanna show you it can be done that way. There is method to my madness. Uh, trying to show you different ways to accomplish things and, and w- then we get a different point of view and sometimes that helps us to understand it a little bit better. And that's what I'm always driving toward is trying to get you to be able to understand this stuff. So in this folder, I'm gonna right click and say, open it in terminal, or I could open terminal and navigate to this folder. Either way, I wanna be at this folder. So in here, I'm going to run this command that says .NET. Now this comes by virtue of the fact that we've installed the .NET SDK. That's why I can type out a .NET command here. So .NET new, web api so this is the api template that would normally would be going in in visual studio or writer and clicking on to select our template but instead now we're typing it out and it says well, what do you want the name of the project to be so i'm going to call this water project and then a convention out there in the world is to put on a dot api that doesn't mean anything to Dot net, but it's just a way for us as humans to say, oh, this is the API portion as we're looking at all the different little components of our project. So I drop that dot API on there. I say uh, hyphen O to indicate where do we want to create this? What is the output is what that's saying. And I say, well, I want to create a folder called backend. And then within that folder, I'll have on a, a, a project called water project dot AP dot API. I want to add on a little modify here and I say I want to hyphen hyphen use hyphen controllers in this project. I do want to have controllers. You can do them without, but we want to have them. So I'm going to say use controllers. And the framework, if we need to add this in, and I I want to in this case, is net 8.0. So I want .NET 8.0. So big old long command saying here's the template, here's the name I want to give it, here's the output. I want to use controllers and here's the framework. I hit enter, it creates the project, and if I go look at uh, in the project, I can come in here and see that there's a backend folder. I click into it, I see the web API folder I've created, and there's my project set up just like if I'd done it at the, um, the GUI in Visual Studio or Writer. All right, so that's set up. Now the front end or back end set up, how do we set up the front end? Well, same thing, I can come in here, we know how to do this, uh, because we've just done it recently in React. In the folder, the main folder, Water Project, I'm going to run a command that is npm uh, create vite at latest. And then where do I want to create this? I want to create it in a folder called front end. I run that command. It says which, which framework do you want to use? I'll use React. Which variant do you want to use? We can again choose JavaScript. We can choose TypeScript. I'm going to choose TypeScript. 
And then that, that builds that. So then I say, I want to CD into that front end folder. And then if I do a list or a dir, then I can see that there's all those files that we typically have in our project. And it says to run next, after you've CD'd into front end, run an npm install. So I'll do an npm install, which will go build all those supporting files. It'll build the node modules folder and get all the content we need in. And that'll take just a minute. We get the install completed, and then I can say after that I could I could do a um, npm run dev like it says to get the website to come up. But I want to get make sure we get prettier installed as well and do the other things we've done in terms of setup. So I'll say uh, npm. This is inside the front end folder. npm install prettier hyphen hyphen save dev. That will install prettier and. Um, I can, I can, as long as I'm the command line, I can run this other command, npm install, and then say hyphen hyphen save dev, eslint space prettier space eslint config. This is again, this little uh, prettier. This, this is this little setup to make sure that these two get along well. eslint plugin prettier. Can hit enter on that and we've got that done so we could continue to modify files and do stuff at the command at the terminal um, but it's going to be easier at this point to switch over to one of the the other programs so i'm going to open visual studio code open a folder i'll go out to my desktop i'll grab this water project folder select that main folder rather than going into the front end folder or the back end folder specifically. And then we're gonna add those special files in. So I'm gonna come into front end. At the front end level, I'm going to add a folder, uh, sorry, a file, dot prettier rc dot json. So dot prettier rc dot json, I can put in those entries. And if we're doing this over and over again, we could just build a front end folder template drop it out on our project folder somewhere on the desktop or wherever, and then copy it in when we create a new project. But I'll just type these things in real quick so we, again, get a few of these options that are very normal, semicolons, um, true, single quote, true, JSX, single quote, false, Uh, trailing comma, yes five, print width eighty. Man, I gotta stop doing that. I was doing that in the last video, wasn't I? Tab width two. I gotta press over and then comma instead of just pressing comma, and then end of line uh, auto. Okay, so those are just some common options. You can go research and add others if you want to. I'll save this so it's there. And then in our um, ESLint config, I need to tell it about prettier. So I'm going to come into this extends entry and I add in here ESLint config prettier. And I jumped over the imports we need to do. So I need to import prettier from ESLint hyphen plugin hyphen prettier. So we're going to import prettier from there import and if you haven't installed prettier you need to install the extension but if you've done it once then it's in your project eslint config prettiers prettier from eslint config prettier okay and then we have an entry down here uh, a little further in this plugin section we say after this line we say prettier prettier and we're not going to worry too much about what each of these things are doing just know that we're setting it up so that these two will play nice together after this yellow bracket we say prettier slash prettier and then that's going to be an error i save that file and now i should be all set up so we're set up and ready to go we're going to find out in the next video if this worked because we are out of time Spencer out.